Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. I've got a new tutorial for you. This time we are going to learn how to make a full one piece armor and outfits for both male and female. Shaken asked me, but why one piece armors? Well, because I can. It is an idea I brought over from modding Fallout 4 and finally got the process right for Skyrim. Speaking of Shaken, Shaken Mods is free to join and free to post and download mods. It's way better than that other mod site, in my opinion, simply for the fact that the download speed of Shaken Mods is a fantastic 15 megabytes per second, even for free accounts, which is three times faster than the speed of those other guys, which make you pay for a premium membership fee for a mere five mem megabytes per second. Shaken Mods also has a guild membership, which is cheaper than those other guys, and you get more features as well. The site is 100% ad-free, and user supported. The community is nowhere near as toxic of other places and the staff are approachable in Shaken Mods Discord. So join Shaken Mods today by clicking on the referral link in the description of this video. Okay, that's out of my way. I'm gonna stop dodging arrows aimed at my knee and roll that intro. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is make our plugin. So open up your creation kit. And if you have the creation kit fixes and tweaks mod, this shouldn't take very long at all. I'll leave a link in the description for this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose all of these. I'm gonna choose all of the master files because this is special edition. So, and we'll open that up and it loads the fixes and tweaks loads the creation kit much 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 faster than normally and gets rid of all those um errors that pop up and everything and it's already done okay uh i want to go ahead and collapse all those and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to save this mod and i'm going to call it Charles Renee, just like that, and save it. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to go to my plugins here, and I don't think it will show up. No, it won't. So I'm going to open my Mod Organizer 2. I only use Mod Organizer 2, so can't help you with support for vortex on this as you can see this is this is uh checked right here so that's good so what we're going to do is we're going to add frostfall capability to it and the reason i'm doing this through mod organizer 2 is because i have frostfall installed so i'm going to click here and i'm going to click my sse edit and i'm going to run that And it'll give you all the mods you have installed. So I'm going to select none right off the bat. Go down here to the bottom. I'm going to check my Charles Rene. And then I'm going to find Frostfall. Just like that. And I'm going to push OK. And give it a minute. Let it do its thing so it'll all load up. Shouldn't take too long. It's already done. All right. The first thing you're going to need to do is click on your Charles, click on your e, uh, plugin, your new one, and right click, and you're gonna want to add, go to add, and down here at the bottom there's a arrow. Got to go down here, and you want to add a keyword like this. All right, now open up Frostfall, go down to keyword, and expand that menu. The first one you're gonna need is the Frostfall Enable Keyword Protection. And the form ID over here, double click this, and what you're gonna need 
is this set of numbers right here. So you go ahead and you copy those. You can close that and scroll down to your mods ESP, highlight your keyword, right click and add and it'll say keyword and you just paste that right in here and it'll come up just like this. All right, the first one you gotta do is the EDID. Just take and highlight it, press and left click, press and hold, and just drag it over, and it'll give you the warning. So yes, you're absolutely sure. And it'll put that on there. Now you want the CNAM color. Same thing. Left click, press and hold, drag it over, drop it in. All right, now the next one you're going to need is your warmth. And now I'm going to go ahead with the Frostfall Warmth Max. Same process. Go ahead and copy these numbers, not the brackets, just the numbers. Down here. Click on your keyword. Add. Paste these numbers in here. Do the same thing with the EDID and the same thing with the CNAM. Just like that. So that's the warmth. Now we need the coverage. And you can choose depending on what kind of armor or outfit. You can choose whatever, you know, warmth, fair, coverage, fair, good, whatever. I'm just going to go with the max. So copy those numbers like that. Right click, add keyword, paste those numbers in right there. And then the same thing, copy this across and then copy this across. So that is... We have our warmth max, coverage max, and frostfall enable keyword protection. That's good. So we are going to go ahead and close it. And I use, I don't uh, back up the plugins just to save on disk space because the backup the backup thing is the save backup or whatever is just extra stuff I don't need. This is my Charles Renee. Make sure this is checked and push OK. That's taken care of. Now you want to reopen your creation kit and take a look at it to make sure the keywords are in the plugin. So we will do that. And um, set this as the active file here. Now, the created by, I'm going to go ahead and put my author's name in there and I'm push OK. That way when I save it, it will have my author's name on the ESP. So like I said, with the creation kit fixes and tweaks, this doesn't take very long at all. It's already loaded. It's just initializing references and validating forms and it's done. All right, to check to make sure this works. We're gonna go ahead and save first just to make sure. And then you want to open up your miscellaneous tab here and go down to cross go down to the keyword and type in the word frost in the filter and you can see that the frostfall coverage frostfall enable keyword protection and frostfall warmth max are on this so this is ready this is this is ready to start building on and it has Combat compatibility with Frostfall. So we're going to go ahead and move on in the tutorial. Okay, first we got to make our file structure. So I'm going to open up my Skyrim data folder. I'm going to go to meshes and I'm going to make a new folder in here and I'm going to call it Charles Renee. 
and I'll go ahead and open that folder and I'm going to put a M folder for mail and an F folder for female. Now, if you want to uh, use custom textures on custom armor, you'll need to make, you'll need to copy this and copy this and put it in the textures folder as well. But what I'm going to make, I already have the meshes. I already have the uh, all the textures in my data folder already for it. So I don't need to do all that. So all I really need is just the meshes folder, which is right here. And then we're going to make a new folder in here and we're going to call this gnd and that's for the uh ground menu for uh when you when you're looking at the armor in game it's the picture that it shows you and we'll go over that as well all right so we've got that pretty good now we're going to move into actually building the armor in body slide Okay, we're actually going to start building our outfit. Now I'm going to I'm going to make the female outfit something from Sun Jiang. I have permission for to use her body slide files to make these uh one piece armor mashups. This is the uh Charles Rene. So that's good. We're going to use that. But we need to make a male outfit for it because there aren't any male outfits in our files. So we're going to go to Open Outfit Studio. We're going to go to File, and we're going to Import from NIF. And I have, I'm going to use something from Terra Armors. I have all of the Terra Armor meshes and textures loaded up in my full, in my data folder already. So I'm going to use something out of this. And I'm going to use the Pirate Castanic right here. And I'm going to put that in there. Uh, these, this here is the pants. So I'm going to right click here, rename it to pants. And this is the coat. So I'm going to rename that to coat. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete delete the male underwear body. We're going to add that later. Now we need the boots here. Like that. Those look good. Doesn't look like any obvious clipping. Now you can either leave it and... You either can leave it or just whatever. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the gauntlets to it. So import and it's called gloves, but this and I'm going to this here is the boots, so I need to rename those boots. And then this is the gauntlets and those rings. This is the gloves. So I'm gonna get rid of the gloves and the, I'm gonna get rid of the gloves here. I don't need those. Now, one thing I noticed when you try to put hands in from Outfit Studio it kind of gives you kind of screwed up textures on your hands. So I'm going to remove those. Now, these rings aren't going to work correctly either. So I need to remove those. So I'm going to click on my pen tool right here. And I'm going to click on the mask tool. And I'm going to mask off. It looks like everything is 
completely masked off there. I'm gonna mask off those rings. I'm gonna hold control and push I. And then I'm going to right click here, delete vertices, and then rename this to gauntlets. Just like that. That part's done. Now, that looks good for right now. I'm going to need to do some partitions here. I need to add a partition here. And I'm going to add the partition for calves. And then the boots. I need to add the partition for calves on these boots as well. And the gauntlets. I need to add the partition for forearms. Apply. And then the coat is good. And the pants, body and calves. That's all good. So that is good right there. So now I'm going to export this i don't have a nif with a reference i'm just going to export the nif and i'm going to go to my folder which is right here i'm going to open this and i am going to put charles renee m just like that and i'm going to save that now I'm going to unload my project. And then I'm going to click file, click load outfit, and this will, and then click from file. And then this will go right back to where you just saved your outfit. Now I need to put a body reference in here. So click file, click load reference. Now I have two male body references in my body slide here I uh, have one for the male vanilla Skyrim body and then I have one from shaken mods I am just going to use the male body I'll, I'll put the I'll put the shaken male bo male body slide in here in as well I'll, I'll make uh I'll put links to the in the description to both of these so you can use whichever one you want. Save that in right like that. Now I want to click on my male body and I want to make the coat into a wireframe so I can see what I'm doing like that, right? Now I need to put these sliders on this. So I'm going to go to conform selected, even movement. And then conform all, even movement. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my base shape. Now I'll make the coat a wireframe. Make sure my male body's selected there. Click on my little pen button over here to show all the vertices. I'm going to click on my mask button right here. And I'm going to mask off all the skin parts that are showing. Now you want to, you kind of want to get over a ways because when it increase, when you start messing with it in body slide, you might need to, you might need to uh, just increase that. I'm going to do the back, back of the neck right there. So that looks good. Uh, do down here. And the reason you have to do it over this way is, is because when it cut, when it cuts off, it might there might be a, a spot that goes over here. I ran into a problem over here where it like came over to this vertice and then over and there was like an empty spot and it's hard to fix that. So make sure you uh, go ahead and.
cover up any, you know, stand these, uh, stand these out so enough of it's underneath the coat where when you start messing with it, it won't, it'll, it'll all conform. So you've got to like that. You've done your sliders. So you've got this part masked off. You want to go ahead and right click and delete vertices and it'll, it'll take all of the, like with the pants, it'll take everything that is like that. So that should be good. No uh, obvious spots there. So we are going to go to save project as, and we're going to copy this name from the output file name. I'm going to put my gamer tag in. And put there, and then I'm going to add the word full on the end of this. And for this here, underscore full, like that. Click to project and save. Close that. Close your body slide. Reopen your body slide and go find your project, which it should be right alphabetical order right here. Just like that. I got my sliders. I'm going to want to increase the body to 50% on the high weight. We're going to do the high weight for this. I want to increase the body to 50%. Just like that. Maybe a little bit bigger. 65. Yeah, that'll work. And let's see, those thighs, we're going to increase the size of the thighs on the high weight. And the biceps, increase to 60. Forearms. Probably something low, like 15. That'll work. So that looks good there. And just click build. And now we want to go ahead and open up our project again. Because we're going to need to make two more. We're going to make need to make one more project and export one more uh, piece. So the first one we're going to do is our ground model. So I'm going to go ahead, our first one we're going to do is our first person model. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the pants, remove the boots, and leave the gauntlet and coats in the male body. So delete that. And that, we can just use that as our first person, just like that. So save project as and add a name, add first person on the end of this. And then on the output file name, just put underscore first person. New project and save. And we're gonna go ahead and close that and close body slide and reopen it. There's our first person object, just like that. And we're just gonna go ahead and click build on this. So that's good. Now we need to make our ground object. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our project here. And we're what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna get rid of the gauntlets, the boots and the pants and the male body so that it's just the coat just the coat like that and we're going to export this this NIF 
and we're going to put it in meshes and I'm going to put it in my folder here, here, and this will be, I'm going to call this mail underscore GND. Now there's some more stuff we're going to have to do with this, but that's good for right now. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And now we'll do the female version. Okay, we're going to do the female version um, of this. We have this right here. This is the Sun Jiang's uh, Charles Rene in her museum mod. And we're going to open this in body slide right from this so that it opens it right up first thing we want to do is where it says upper this is this part right here go to partitions and we're going to add a partition and we're going to make that one forearms and we're going to add another partition and we're going to make that one halves ply just like that now we're gonna add gauntlets, the pants, and the shoes. So we are gonna use add project, because we're going to, like I said, we are going to use Sun Jiang's body slide files for this, because she said I could. So we need this lower, just like that. Now, this, these lowers, we're going to have to add some partitions here. Uh, body, push apply, and then delete this pelvis here, and then add a partition, and abs right there. Apply, body, apply. And then this lower two, we're gonna add a partition, make it body, and then delete this one there. And that is just that right there, so that's good. Just like that. Now we're gonna go to add project. We're gonna do the, the feet. Charles Rene heels right here. Just like this here. And the shoes, partitions. We're going to add a partition. And we're going to have that to be calves. And then the feet will just be the feet, which will be fine. Yes. And now we're going to do the hands and gauntlets or the gauntlets. So we will go down here to Charles Rene gauntlets and it puts it on there just like that. We're going to go ahead and remove the hands completely because if you leave the hands in there, it gives you some weird texture on the hands so for the gauntlets we're going to have to do some partitions here uh, we need to do apply the body remove the hands and apply and then put forearms here apply just like that and that will show up in in the game trust me on this i just spent 20 minutes trying to figure this out we don't need to do the sliders it's already got it on there it's already got physics because all of sun jiang stuff does so and save project now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to change the name of the project
And this will be Charles Rene F. And then this will be full. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to put that in right here. And put an underscore right there. And now we need to fix our path, which I want to have it go into my folder, which I already have my folder made like that. That and save. So that should be ready. And we will go ahead and close out body slide, reopen it. Oh, now it decides it wants to come up. All right, cool. And we will go up and we will find our Charles Rene female full. This one right here. And we're going to open this up. And we're going to go through and we're going to check this stuff here on the partitions. Forms, body, that's good. Shoes, feet and calves, good. Lower, calves and body, that's good. Upper, so it's all there. So we don't really need to do anything to that. We was just checking it. Now we actually need to build it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I already know what I want want for this. So we're working in the high weight over here because um, this will make the high weight of it. And then the low weight will just be normal sized. Just be the smallest size. So minus 40. And that is our female armor set. And we're going to click build. And that should be all there is to that. Okay, now we're going to make the actual ground models. Just go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop. And call this GND. Just like that. Now, in your Skyrim data folder, open up your meshes BSA using Bethesda Archive Extractor. There will be a link in the description for this. You're going to need two things. Uh, click out of that. First, you're going to go to your armor, and I'm just going to use the banded armor. And the banded one go will be fine. And then I need clutter. And I'm going to scroll down here until I get to the gold coin right here. I'm going to extract these and I'm going to just extract these to the GND folder. So that is good. Just like that. Close that up and open your outfit studio. Go to file import for mesh. Um, Go to your desktop and click your clutter and put your coin in right there, just like that. And then go to import from NIF and go back to your data folder, go to meshes and put your We'll do the male version first here, just like that. And that is fine, except we need that down lane on top of that coin. So go ahead and click this and that's pretty close. And we're going to go ahead and tilt that like that. 
and bring it in close here. Now, on these gizmos, there's this box right here. We're going to use that to this box on the arrows. We're going to use that to flatten this out significantly. Just like that. And that's probably going to be a little bit big. So we're going to uh, use the black box here. to shrink it and it doesn't like doesn't like to do it very well like that and then we're going to kind of put it right where that coin's at just like that and then we're going to go to edit and we're going to click reset transforms so that's good. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete the coin out of here. And then we're going to export the mesh. And we're going to put it as the male GND. Right. Now unload your project. Now we're gonna add, we're gonna do the easy way to add collision to a ground menu. That's why I, remember I exported the Bandit Curse here, right? We'll put that in right there. And then we're gonna import from our, da from our data folder And we want to put our mail, our mail GND right there. And that's about the right size. So that's good. And just go ahead and delete the bandit mail curse and then re export this and back to this here. And then open up your data folder and we're going to see if this see if this worked out so we're going to do go to here go to here go to here and you can see that it's got collision on it now don't worry about don't worry about the skeleton So this has collision on it now, pretty much. That will that will work just fine. And now we're going to do that with our. Now I'm going to do that with the female armors. So and the female armor is just is just going to be the same thing, just flatten it out, tilt it over, put it on top of the coin, remove the remove that. Remove the coin and then put the bandit curse in, put this one on it, and it gives it the collision. That's how that works. Okay, now we're going to do our armor add ons. So, got, got the kit loaded up, got your mod loaded up. Click on the items and click on armor add ons. You can use any of them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use the Bandit Curse right here. We'll open this up. And I'm going to add my gamer tag 0 underscore Charles Renee. And I'm going to leave the AA on the end of it. And for the male version here, I'm going to go down and navigate to my folder, go to the mail version, and I want the underscore one. And that'll be fine like that, okay? And the first person object, go down here, 
male and do the first person object just like that. And then the female version, go down here, navigate to your folder, female, like that, okay, and your first person object. The kit likes to take you right back to the top folder on the meshes, so be prepared for that. And there's our first person object. There we go. Now we want to do our biped. Don't click your hands. Just have forearms, feet, and calves. And I'm going to actually add the amulet in here because both of the armors, you look at this one, has an amulet already on it. And the same thing with the female. Any amulet's just going to, like, disappear to the armor, so I'm going to add the amulet here. But I'm going to leave the hands out so that the game will put your hands in there. So that is going to be okay for that right there. And that's all we really need to do with that. And go ahead and that and... There is our armor add-on. Now we will do our armor records. All right, so click on armor right here. And I am gonna, I'm actually gonna make this light armor. If you wanna make it clothes, you gotta scroll down here until you find a clothing that you wanna duplicate. But I'm going to make it into light armor and I'm going to use the dragon scale curus right here. So I'm going to open that up and put my new gamer tag on it. M9 underscore and then Charles Renee. I don't, I ain't putting that on there. So, and the name will be Charles Renee, and then I'm going to put pull on this. And the weight, I'm just going to make the weight zero. I always make the weight zero on my armors. I don't really understand why they have that. And then have a perk, and then have a perk to make it weightless. So I don't really understand that. The armor rating, 41's a good start, but we'll just go ahead and make it 50. We'll leave it light armor, leave it playable. And our biped objects, we want forearm, forearms, amulet, feet, and calves added to that. And our world models, we'll go ahead and navigate down to our Charles Rene here, GND. This is the male ground object. That looks good. And then we'll do the female GND that I made. Just like that. Okay. And then in the models, get rid of the whatever's there. Uh, right click new and choose yours. Your new one. And this is going to be Charles. Renee mashup mashups yeah that mashup that would be good okay now for the keywords now we have to actually do something for these keywords um where it says Armor Curus, that dictates what kind of enchantments can be put on it in the Enchanter's Bench. So we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna add some add some to this. So we're gonna do armor. And we're gonna add armor boots. Add armor. 
and we're gonna add armor gauntlets and just because I'm gonna add armor helmet that way I can any enchantments that I can put on the helmet gauntlets and boots and curse will be able to all go on this uh, get rid of the armor material here delete and add an armor material armor material armor mat now this is going to be dictates where you find it in the crafting metal menu if you're not using sky ui and whatnot if you're just using the vanilla uh, menu although i don't know why anybody would but because sky ui is a thing this dictates which menu it's found in so i'm gonna i'm gonna have it be armor material steel it's not actually gonna it's not actually gonna be steel but that's where you'll find it so i'm gonna add add a new one and remember we put the frost falk uh capability on it so i'm gonna type frost and i'm gonna copy that now i'm gonna put frost fall warmth here add i'm going to paste this in here i'm going to do coverage and i'm going to add and then you have to you have to have this one on here the frostfall enable keyword protection so now it is with all the frostfall keywords too it is frostfall compatible so that's all good now if you want to add an enchantment to it automatically yeah that's fine you can actually duplicate it and rename the duplicate and then make one with an enchantment that you find in the world. But you know, I'm not going to do that. So that is pretty good. Everything looks good. So, okay. New form. And next we'll do the crafting recipes. Okay, now we're going to do the crafting recipes. So, while you're still in the items menu, click on constructible object. Now, you scroll down here and you'll find recipe for armors, different kinds of armors here. Um, this, this is up to you. You know, whatever you want the recipe to be. I happen to want to make this using the recipe for the leather curus. I'm gonna add my tag to it. Just like that. And now you don't have to change anything else, but after you've added your tag to it, but just for, safety's sake here, or just for conformity. Charles Rene Curris. And then you want to create, go to your create objects list and choose your armor. And leather strips. Uh, four leathers is not really that good of an idea. I'm only going to, I want to make the uh, crafting requirements not going to be that high. So it's all going to be one here. And I am going to add one. And I'm going to type in ingot. And I'm going to require it. Uh, it's going to have a requirement for gold ingot because the female version's got so much gold on it. So, and then your match conditions. Now, if you look at some of these other, some of these other ones here you can open this up and you can actually just copy the match condition like this or what you want for requirements to be able to craft it 
Um, you can leave it. You can even leave it blank. You can just go to the forge and craft it. But I'm going to add a match condition. So I'll show you how to do this. You want to use has perk right here or even you know has ref type has parent relationship has magic you know has keyword i use has perk so open that and open this one here and choose your perk i'm going to use steel smithing just like The other ones there, uh, steel smithing right there. Now you can actually just like, if you do it from, you can just copy any of the conditions from here and paste them into your new one. But this, I, I wanted to show you how to do this. This has to be equals and the value of one. Okay. And we are going to push okay on that. And then we're going to move down until we find temper. And then match your temper to whatever armor recipe you used. I happen to have used leather, so we're going to find the leather for us here. And we'll open this up. Put my gamer tag on. It's pretty much the same thing. This is so you can improve your improve your uh yeah improve your armor and it'll be Charles Rene and I believe if I go back up here to the top. Charles Rene Curse, Temper Charles Rene Curse, that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and pick my object there, my leather. Now, with the, with the match conditions here, if you leave these and you improve it and you enchant it, you can't improve it. If you take these off, even if you enchant it, you can improve it after there. So that's what I'm going to actually do. I'm just going to remove these. So even if I enchant this, enchant this uh, armor, I can improve it further on their armor workbench. So that is good like that. So push OK on that. And that should be it. For that, we have our recipes, we have our armor add-on, we have our armor record, so that's good. Now we want to go ahead and click here, click on file, and compact file form IDs. Okay, and so, because we're going to make this an ESL flagged ESP. So go ahead and open up your SSE edit quick clean and choose your mod. And this will actually clean it for you in case there's like any problems. Uh, as you can see, there's 13 processed records, nothing undeleted, nothing removed. So that's all good. And it comes up in loop master list entries as clean. So that's good. Go to file header here and go ahead and double click that. Click on ESL and then hit your close button. Make sure this is checked. Like I said before, backup plugins don't have to have it checked. And that is done. Now we will move into packing up our mod. Okay, now we're going to pack up our mod. So first thing I want to do, log into Bethesda net.
And once you've logged into BethesdaNet, go to File, Upload Plugin, and Archive to BethesdaNet. If you want to upload to Xbox, that's where you, this is where you do it at. But we're just going to upload to PC. Just let it do its thing. Click on it, let it do its thing. All right, first thing is I am going to need to get rid of some stuff like this texture cube maps and these female body textures because I have these in my uh, I have these in my uh, thing here now the foot textures I'm going to leave the hand textures uh, I am not because I removed the hands off of that mod I don't need them. Actually, that that's from the, the gauntlets. I do need those. But I want to remove these female body textures. And then I want to make sure this cube map's gone. Everything else looks like it's okay. So I'm going to remove that. And I want to open up my data folder and go to my meshes folder and go down to my folder here because I think I already have the GND. Let me see here. Yep, GND there, GND there. That's good. I have the GNDs, the ground objects, but. For the female, I want to grab these tree files and stick those in there. And then go back into my male version. And I want to grab the tree file here and here. Amen. The tree file here and here. Stick those in there. And that's all good. And I'm going to export this list because I always export the list in case I screw up. And I'm just going to name the list the same as my mod. Like that. Save that. And then push pack and just let it do its thing. Don't mess with it. Just let it do its thing. When you get to this here you can upload it to bethesda net i'm not going to do that i'm going to close and then i'm going to close the kit now what i'm going to do on the what i'm going to do on this is on the desktop i'm going to make a folder and i'm going to call that Charles Rene, copy, and rename that, and paste, just like that, and I'm going to add CBBE at the end of it, and open that up, and I'm going to make a new folder in here, and call this data. And I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to go down to this here. Because we already made this in ESL. I'm going to grab the plugin. This and this. And I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that in right there. But I'm going to add. I'm going to do a new folder because I need to put my body slide files in here. So I'm going to copy the name of my body slide thing here, Calente Tools. I'm going to make a new folder here. And I'm going to rename it. Paste Calente Tools. Open that. Open this. Copy the name of the body slide here. Make a new folder. 
open that one up. Now I'm going to need two folders in this. I'm going to need shape data and slider sets. So I'm going to copy the name of shape data. Same thing, new folder. Paste. And then I'm going to copy the name of slider sets. Same thing. New folder. And paste that in right there. And since we're already on slider sets here, we're going to go down and we're going to grab all our child Charles Renee ones here and we're going to copy those. And we're going to open up slider sets and we're just going to paste those in right there. And shape data. Same, same concept. Just want to grab all of these. All four of these. Copy them. And paste them in right there. And this will be your Charles Rene base shape is what you're going to need with your OSD. So that is good right there. So we've got our body slide files. We got our meshes and textures. We open up these textures. We can see since I already had my armor textures all uh, added to the mod added to my data folder it grabbed all of them so uh, that'll be okay and that is good there and we'll go ahead and pack that up into a into a 7z file and let that pack up And in the data folder, we're going to go back and we're going to remove the BSAs and plug in like that. And I'm going to close my, I'm going to close my mod organizer too and reopen it because that way it won't show up in this list. And I'm going to copy that off to desktop. I'm going to stick it in my mod organizer too. And it'll say, because I already had one there, I'm just going to go ahead and redo it. There we go. And we're going to install that in mod organizer too. Just like that. Let it let it load up click on that check our body slide files even though they'll, they'll still show up in mod organizer 2 because i have them in the data folder they're going to they're going to show up here because this is the old one so what i want is up here at the top should be All right here. And those all show up. So that's good. We got our mod packed up and we're ready to go. Let's go into game and take a look at it. Okay, here we are in Bree's home with my test with my test girly here. I'm going to go ahead and use add item menu because I'm going to need some ingots here. I need one ingot actually. Need one gold ingot. That. Let that go for a second. And then I need miscellaneous. And I'm going to type leather in here. I need one leather strip, one leather and one leather strip. 
and I'm going to do it again because I need an extra extra leather here just for my uh, that and we'll go out the door here and go over to the forge okay hi hi yeah hey 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 okay we're here and we're gonna go ahead and got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy more inside no i'm looking to craft and i'm gonna go to here and since i put the steel smith smithing perk on I don't have, if I do, if I start typing the name in for Charles Renee, it won't show up. Yeah. And the reason for that is because I don't have the steel smithing perk. So I need that. Luckily, I have this thing called the ancient text, and I can give myself the perk. Like that, and open this up. And it should be right at the top here. Charles Rene Full, right here. Wanna create it? Yes. Not too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's talking shit. So my workbench. And I can improve it. And it increases my smithing. So that all works. All right, let's go ahead and remove these gloves and put this outfit on. And that looks good. Hmm. And first person, you can, first person you can see the gauntlets, so that's, That's all good. And let's check our physics. Well, we can already tell that it's got physics on I trust it. You are considering any thievery. We have a problem. We have Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem, Houston. And we're gonna fix this problem. You see that right there? There's there's something missing. So we're going to go back and breeze home. There's the belt is missing. Don't worry about this. This is because of the lighting. But the belt is missing. So we're going to go ahead and save here. Save this. And we're going to delete this save and make a new one. And we're going to fit go we're going to go ahead and fix this problem. All right, here's the fix for this problem. We're gonna open this back up and body slide. And it, it is this right here. This is what's missing. Cause that's what you saw in game. So this is what's missing. And the reason for it is, is the partitions. So we're gonna open that up and it's got Melvin, pelvis mod primary. We're gonna just delete that partition and apply just like that check our lower lower one that's fine lower two partitions are fine so we're going to go ahead and save the project just like that close that close body slide reopen it Reopen the outfit studio, go to lower two, 
to make sure it's stuck. So that's good. And then rebuild your meshes. You'll have to uh, you'll have to rebuild your BSAs as well. That's not really that big of a problem. Less than you might think. So four. 40 yeah and build like that we're gonna have to rebuild our bsas which won't be that big of a deal come back as soon as the oh no i don't even have to do that because i have see i don't even have the i don't even have the plugin in my folder remember i deleted it out so I need the plug-in here, copy, and open up my data folder, and go ahead and paste this in just like that. Open the kit. Load our plug-in. And luckily, it doesn't take that long. So, you know, that, like I said, I can't say enough, enough good about this uh, creation kit tweaks and fixes and tweaks. And that's done. So log into Bethesda net. And obviously, from what you're seeing on screen, I'm not going to show you my login name or my password because uh, I have haters. It's a real thing. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack the BSAs up. Now, remember that? Remember that uh, import the export list thing we did? We're just going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and remove all this and then click on import list and find our Charles Renee here and that will put it all right back there and then we'll go ahead and repackage the mod like I said just let it do its thing and it's done close close that open your data folder grab the BSA here copy and data and paste that right in there just like that now we have to fix the we have to fix the uh we can take we can delete those out of the data folder now but we have to fix the shape data for our mod so we're going to go down here and we're going to click on the the one we need which is the female version copy and we need to fix this here paste this in overwrite it back to data fold data folder slider sets and we need this one here copy and replace our one there. So that is correct. We're going to delete the zip file off of here and repack it. Okay, it's repacked. So we're going to copy that and we are going to go over we are going to go into our mod organizer 2 se downloads new and place this here just like that open this up open up mod organizer 2 reinstall mod replace Everything's good. And now we are going to go back into game 
and check this out. Okay, here we are, and you can see that the belt is back, so we'll go outside again. And okay. Looks good, man. Looks good. Looks good there. And she she's actually really tall because of the heels. So and plus it kind of works with this character because she's you can see her ears point peeking out under her hair. She's an elf. She's a snow elf. But yeah, okay. So that works for that. Let's go take a look at the male version now. Okay, here we are in Bree's home. And as you can see, there's problems with this male armor. Uh, everything but the forearms work. So we're going to have to go ahead and fix that up. Got to fix the male version. So it's just like fixing the female version. There's problems with our partitions. So open it up in body slide. And it was the gauntlets and the partitions. We need to get rid of the hands. And then we want to add the body. Just like that. And that will fix that. So we are going to save project as. To save. And close that. Close Outfit Studio. Open body slide. And then set your weights. What was that? 60? 50? 60? 60. 60 there. Biceps 20. Forearms 10. Thighs maxed out. That's good. Build that. And since the meshes are already in the the meshes are already in my data folder, I am gonna go back in game and check to see if it worked. And yep, it worked. So first person. As you can see, the first person didn't work. So we have to fix the first person object. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Got to fix the first person object on this. And it's all just per the partitions. So we're going to go to this. And the gauntlets, partitions. Take the hands out. Delete that. Add a partition body, apply, and save project as two project, save, and close your body slide, reopen body slide, and build it just like that. Now you will have to put your plugin back in your data folder, rebuild your BSAs. You can, if you have problems like that, you can just go ahead and fix all your problems you know you can make sure it all works before you pack it up in bsas i should have did that i didn't so there's this there's this video so let's go back in game and check to see if this is all working good okay we can see the this is working pretty good right here so we want to go into first person and it's like that. Now, I'm not sure how to cure clipping through the hands like that. So you could, I guess you could, I guess you could increase on the first person. You could increase the size of the cuffs or whatever, but then it might look more goofy. So, but everything else seems to look good. Let's see. No obvious clipping. No obvious clipping what skin, little skin there is. Look, looks pretty cool. Yep. And because 
I needed, and because I needed to show you how guys how to fix a few things, that's why this part is so long. Okay. Wow. That was actually the hardest tutorial I think I ever put together. I actually had to redo this four times, but I think the end product will be helpful. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something. If you were an experienced modder, I hope I showed you a new trick or two as well. Thanks for watching and remember to smash that like button and leave a comment on the video as that is the best way to support the channel short of a direct sponsorship. If you want to do a direct sponsorship, there are a couple of ways. You can look in the description and use the Ko-Fi link for one-time tips or join as a monthly sponsor. You can also click the join button below this video to join as a channel member. Or if you want to do a one-time tip, just click that thanks button. So until next time, guys, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.